Here we are. So uh, good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, and uh, whatever time it is around the world where you're listening uh, to this uh, meeting. So this is the GSOC office hour on May 18th. Uh, we're in the middle of the bonding period. Uh, a lot of activity happened and uh, still ongoing. So we're not going to waste too much time in saying hello and telling funny story. That's before the meeting starts. Uh, we're going to go uh, immediately. I see we have, I, I believe we have all the projects uh, represented. Yep. So what I'm going to do is uh, ask, uh, generally I ask to uh, the contributor or, or the, the participant uh, three questions. So what was achieved uh, this week or the, the, the week that just uh, was completed? What is scheduled uh, for uh, the coming week? And are there any worries, impediments, or uh, uh, things that keep you awake at night where we can uh, help? Good news is also welcome, but generally that's, that's before. So I suggest that we start uh, immediately. Uh, on my list, Vendit is first. So Vendit, uh, about building Jenkins with uh, alternative tools. So tell me what happened uh, the past week. Uh, we had our first meeting on May 14th and I have created my bio. Uh, we, I, we have set up, uh, I have set it, we have set it up our project page details, uh, my first con contributor blog post and a public repo for code de uh, development where we will also se uh, set up the project wiki that will that will have the in-depth project plan for the project okay what and do you plan a, <clears throat> go ahead and an initial email to uh, jenkins.dev.googlegroups.com is still pending uh, that will be done by today or like tomorrow i'll i'll send that to chris and he will send it to the group okay. mailing list Okay, that sounds good. And what do you plan for next week? Do you have still, because I think you ticked most of the boxes for the uh, bonding period. Yeah, so yeah. What do you have planned? Yeah, I have my exam. My exams got pre bonded and they are now from May 22. So that was a nice thing that I ticked most of the boxes and uh, I'll all of the remaining boxes will be ticked by today. So uh, I would start I, I think I'll see you in when the coding period starts from May 28th because May 27th is my last exam. Okay. So a, a general comment here. Thank you, Vandit. Uh, general comment here related. So I, I will say it often. So work and um, studies go first. Uh, you just need to say, uh, I have this uh, this issue or this planning issue, just say it, and we're going to uh, find a solution uh, together. Uh, and generally, the default value is, anyway, exams, private life, and uh, uh, work have priority. GSOC is important, but we'll find the balance together. This yeah, is uh, <laughs> very good. Fendi, any worries beside your exams? Uh, no, everything is going smooth till now. That's what okay. I think. <laughs> Does one of the mentors want to add something to Vendit's summary? Uh, yeah, so yeah, everything is going fine. I mean, Vendit is doing great. I mean, yeah, I saw the initialization of the repository for Gatsby and uh, Antora. And yeah, I mean, it's fine. Very good. Thank you for sharing uh, the status. 
of that project. So we'll move to, unless somebody else has a question or so, we'll leave a gap of a couple of questions. Then we move to the next project. Okay, let's move to uh, Jakruti. So I, I, I have a doubt that I'm pronouncing the first name correctly. I apologize. I... It right. Thank you. <laughs> so I need to learn the correct accent and the correct intonation. So anyway, bear with me if it's not correct. So this is about the adding probes to plugin health score. So tell us what happened uh, the past week. The past week, I mean, before GSAS, I was already working on adding a new probe. So I'm continuing the same thing this week as well. I'm struggling a bit with the test cases. So I'm trying to finish it as soon as possible. And I've already created my bio page and updated the project page. And only writing the blog is pending. So I'm planning to do it by this weekend or by next week. And uh, we already had two meetings in which Adrian first laid the ground rules and in the second one he explained my mistakes in the test cases in detail and everything. So I think I'm progressing pretty well. That's all okay. I have to say. Very good. What's, what's planned for next week? You, you already mentioned it, so you're continuing. Can you yes, summarize I'm doing it? the current workflow. I hope I finish it by next week. And I will also make sure that the blog is completed. The blog about the, my project that we have to do. Well, I, it's it's important to communicate correctly to the community. The community is now very curious, and and so we need to show what we're what we're doing, and so so, and then we can move on to the coding. Very good, Jack Ruti. Is something that keeps you awake or worries you? How are you feeling? Nothing as such, but just only that I'm just afraid that it might happen in the future that I might not be able to manage like time and my work and GSOC both at the same time. But for now, everything is working fine. Let's see how it goes in future. Okay. Don't forget to uh, uh, reach out and discuss that with your mentor. Uh, and if you find you don't find it, there is no compromise or it doesn't work, you can always reach out uh, to me or Chris or another uh, org admin. But I think based on my experience, uh, it's never necessary to escalate, but be careful to maintain a good balance. Right? You will hear that very often from me. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Very good. Jakruti, thank you very much for uh, your report. Good work. So uh, I think you're all going very fast. Uh, Dirash, do you want to add something to Chakruti's report? Uh, not really. I'm happy with her progress and we are moving forward by clicking off the items that we're supposed to do during the community bonding period. Uh, her PR just got merged about updating our project page on Jenkins.io and she said she will be working on the blog post next and yes, so all the things are going great. And she's also working on the code side by side, which is not a priority, but she is. So that's a good thing. Very good. Yeah, very good. The, the, for the others, the difficulty here uh, with this project is that uh, Jack Ruti is free during the weekend, where Adrian is available only during the week. So there will really experiment asynchronous work. And so uh, there will be some challenges there, but it really looks great because here this this period now, I'm, I'm impressed. So that this, this started uh, well. Okay, we can now move on to a Docker-based quick start uh, with uh, Ashutosh. Hello, hello. I pronounced your first name correctly? Yes. Yes, yes, yep. you pronounced it perfectly. So you so already have... know what is the question I'm going to ask you. Go ahead. Yes, I have uploaded my bio uh, on Jenkins.io 
and we had some issues scheduling the call and we have decided to schedule it for tomorrow so we didn't have meeting yet but we'll have it tomorrow okay and this was mainly because you had exams yes yes because and then one of the mentors was on pto and one of the other mentor was not available until tomorrow so that explains why we are so late why uh, it's, uh, it's also, not go ahead i was wondering about said uh, he hasn't confirmed if he will attend or not for tomorrow's meeting i think i got an email from him saying he would be attending tomorrow at 3 p.m his time so he should be yes. there okay okay so put that um well said has been uh, on and off uh, yes, so he right just here. got off from a vacation. Yeah. So, well, let's continue. So, uh, well, you you starting first meeting uh, set up, uh, and there you will discuss on the various deliver deliverables. So, uh, yeah, you're a little bit and late, but no problem. There, there we have a uh, Slack channel. Uh, which yep. is linked yes. to the um, CDF Slack uh, workspace. We also have now a Gitter channel, which is linked to Jenkins. What else? Am I forgetting something, Ashutosh? No, you got everything, I think. Yeah. Going to discuss all the details tomorrow during the meeting. Yeah. Okay, Ashutosh, is there something that worries you? No, not right now. <laughs> Time will come, yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry, just start. Hey, great. But it's a ritual question, but I, I, it's also that the other, the others hear also what, uh, what's happening on a project. Uh, the next, the last one is a GitLab plugin modernization with uh, a turning a camera on. Great. Uh, now you need to help me. I is harsh. Your and is it pronounced that way? Is that your the the first right name? Time. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we discussed that already uh, once. So Harsh, go ahead. Tell us what happened. What is so going to happen? My my exams are over, so I am going to have my mid semester breaks. So things will be much faster now. I have to upload the uh, bio. No, I did the bio. Yeah, the blog post. Yeah, the blog post. I missed it. So I will uh, add the blog post and my project plan is going to be completed soon. So we'll have the discussion tomorrow regarding the pro technical details of the project plan. And I think from 22nd or 23rd, I'll start contributing to the project. That's why okay. we are. And you had already meetings? Yeah, we had meetings. Tomorrow is our second meeting in which our, the okay. project plan will be. And then, uh, tomorrow is our third meeting in which the project plan will be uh, discussed. Okay, very good. Uh, do you manage with the time for yes. you and no Mark problem. because you're very far away, nearly the other side of the earth? No, no problems at all. <laughs> okay, good. Worries? Nope. Oh, Everything is fine currently. Okay. Hey, good. Okay. Uh, does somebody want to raise concern or want to share something globally? I think we're starting fine. Uh, everybody gets aligned and uh, have a nice week. Oh, I do uh, have happy... to raise. Go it's ahead. Like, yeah, for for different projects, I'm not sure how how the other projects are doing it, but um, I think we're supposed to engage the community more. So I suggest like if if like the other projects haven't already done so like uh, you should talk to your mentor and have either your lead mentor or yourself write an email to the community explain your plans and uh what you plan to do and um and also get feedback because like there's stakeholders who may want to know more before you proceed and they may have like some suggestions for you very good point uh chris uh what channel would you suggest to use for that um, I suggest to use email to the developer. This, this. yeah, yeah, that one. And well, alternative, if you want to go uh, broader, it, it, the developer list is is great. 
uh, the um, uh, the alternative, not alternative, complementary to that yeah, would be cool. on discourse on the main uh, yeah. channel. Just saying hello. Oh, I think I think there are two main lists. So one is for users. So and and our for developers. So maybe uh, if if sent by email, both channels should be used. And this course is a good channel too. So both doing both will be good. Yeah, good topic to discuss in the next project meetings. I think the the point raised by Chris is is to the point is exactly we need to engage more in the community to get them. Uh, involved. The blog post is important, and um, but we need to do a little bit more. Thank you, Chris, for for that. Something else? Okay, so, uh, how long should the blog post be? Like, how many words should it? Uh, that's a very good question, Chakruti. Long enough? No, <laughs> that was a stupid answer. Uh, it, it just gives me a few th seconds to think. Uh, I think the rule of thumb that I had was around 800 words, which sounds already a little bit uh, long. What would be in the blog post is who you are, what the project is going to be about, giving a few links for the people that want either to hear what's going on or to have more details on what's happening. And then maybe a conclusion on how are you feeling about the uh, uh, the adventure. So between 400 and 800, 800 uh, words, one page. Does that sound logical? Yes, it does. Did I first like, write it in a Google Doc and share it with the community? Make a PR in uh, well, uh, you, well, you can first dis so make a draft in Google Docs and share it with your team, uh, uh, so the project uh, team. But to publish the blog post is uh, through the Jenkins.io. I'm okay. not sure that I understood the question correctly. Did I answer your question? Yes, yes, you did. Thank you. So you do a draft just to see is it too long or too short? You will you will feel it in in your your yes, guts if, if in Jenkins.io I think I have to use a doc syntax. Yeah. So that becomes a little challenging when you write and also use the syntax at the same time. That is why. <laughs> okay. So here. Uh, we all have to to learn quite a few things, and and uh, people are there also to to help. Uh, Adoc is an extension of Markdown. There's some characters, and uh, here, I, this is something where I can help. Technically, I can't, or I'm too rusted uh, for that. But documents and blog posts and Jenkins IO, I, I know enough. Start with a draft in uh, Google Docs, and the rest we can help you. Okay. Yes, thank you. Great. Thank you very much then for uh, joining this this meeting. I'll I'll keep it short that way. I think it's great to share where we're standing and we grab uh, ideas from the discussion. So. Uh, if you can't make it to the meeting, it's no problem. Just make sure that there will be somebody representing the project, either mentor or uh, dog wants to come in, but he has to wait. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. All have a nice rest of the day. Good work during the during the coming week, and see you then uh, next week. All. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.